Folks, it is 2021 and remote working or work from home has never been more popular. And as if there wasn't already a good number of opportunities to work remote before, this year, it's even better. There are many more opportunities out there and in this video, I'm going to share five work from home options that you can start looking into today and I'm going to give you some recommendations as far as courses you can take or certifications you can earn to make you more qualified for these jobs to improve your chances of landing one of these jobs. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here. If you're new to the channel, what it's all about is helping you with career development and personal finance. So if you want to advance your career or grow your income, then consider subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new content. And of course, if you like what you see, do make sure to hit the like button as well. So with that said, let's get to it. So I'm gonna start off this video by mentioning this one thing, which is a lot of jobs that were traditionally office jobs are now, in a lot of cases, work from home opportunities. It all depends on the company and the job itself, and some jobs require different skill sets than others or different experiences than others. And they, of course, offer different salaries, anywhere from 50,000 to 100K plus. So for number five, what I would say is probably one of the more common work from home jobs that used to be office work would be marketing type roles, which is what I'm personally most familiar with. I've been in marketing roles. So there are three in particular that I would list out. One is brand management. You also have product management and you have digital marketing specialist. I won't go into too much detail on those roles because I actually have already made another video on the top five marketing jobs you can go out and pursue. I'll link that in the description below, but net of it is their marketing roles. And the bottom line is most marketing jobs, I would say on average more so than other types of jobs, are roles that can be done mostly from home, with the exception possibly being something on the more creative side, where it could be argued that it's easier to collaborate or have whiteboard sessions for ideas in person in a group. But even then, the majority of the work you'll be doing is really on your own. And if you need to have a meeting, you can do that virtually. And as far as courses you can check out, what I would recommend is just getting a good solid understanding of marketing end to end, but I would also say that digital marketing is a really big part of that, especially nowadays, of course, not that digital marketing is a new concept by any means, but one class in particular I would recommend is the digital marketing specialization offered by the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This will give you a good sense of the end to end marketing thought process with obviously a focus on digital marketing concepts that I think would position you best for any type of marketing role. And you can find the link to that specialization down in the description below. And of course, every class that I mentioned going forward, you can also find the links to those in the description. So apart from those traditionally office-based jobs, stay tuned because the next four, I put five, should be four, the fifth one was what I just mentioned. The next four are going to be jobs that don't really require a lot of experience or a lot of skills. And I would also say that if they do require skills, they're not that difficult to obtain, especially if you look at some of the courses that are available out there online. So let's get to those four. Number four is virtual assistant. Now this has actually been a staple in the work from home field for quite some time. Obviously it's virtual as the name implies, but this role has become more and more popular throughout the years. And as the name implies, you'll be a virtual assistant and and really what that's gonna require depends a little bit on what the job itself entails or what the company is about or who it is you'll be assisting and what they do. But by and large, you'll be managing someone else's calendar, setting up meetings, coordinating with different folks or different companies, and you'll also be helping with prioritizing tasks. And depending on your subject matter expertise on a particular field, you may be more qualified for certain jobs or certain virtual assistant jobs 
if you have experience in that field. So you may have an advantage there, which is why I would recommend try to find a virtual assistant job in a field you are familiar with. At any rate, this is going to require a lot of organizational skills and time management. So one course that I'd recommend you look into is offered by the University of California, Irvine. It's called Work Smarter, Not Harder, Time Management for Personal and Professional Productivity. Number three is Transcriptionist or Transcriber. Now this one's really interesting. I, it's something that I didn't even think about a whole lot, but this one doesn't require really any skills. Now, of course, what's going to help you in this type of role is the ability to listen, to be detail-oriented, and of course, to type fast but accurately. And what you'll be doing here is taking audio clips that someone provides to you and transcribing it. That is to say, convert what you hear to written or more appropriately, typed words. So for example, someone might send you an audio clip of a podcast and it's your job to transcribe what you hear to typed words so that the audience of that podcast can take in the content visually, they can read it as opposed to having to listen to it. There are also more specialized fields that require transcriptionists, namely in legal and healthcare. And when it comes to healthcare, that is an area where I believe you are required to have a certification. I'm including a link down below that's more of a resource on what to expect when looking for transcriptionist jobs. There's not really, there aren't really any courses that I saw. It, it literally is just typing what you hear and the better you are at that, the better you'll be and the more money you could potentially make. But when it comes to legal and healthcare, that can help as far as income goes. But because it doesn't require really any sophisticated skills or experience, the pay is on the lower end. So again, to the extent that you can control it, which is by typing faster, accurately, or being in the healthcare or legal field, that's going to help a little bit. Number two is social media manager. Now this job can come in a few forms, but at the root of it, you're going to be responsible for the social media presence of a company. This means creating posts and engaging with existing, but also potential customers on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, etc. This can all be done remotely, no problem, and chances are you use social media. I mean, you're watching this video on YouTube, so you have an idea, in many cases, how all these platforms work. It is, however, different when thinking about social media from a business standpoint, because the ultimate goal is to drive traffic to the company's website or to a call center. And at the end of the day, you're trying to drive sales through those actions. And all of that requires you to have an understanding of the different tools that these platforms offer, especially when it comes to advertisement campaigns, but also how to build an audience, build loyalty, and how to interact on social media to improve the reputation of a brand. And to get a better sense of that, I'd recommend looking into the social media marketing specialization offered by Northwestern University, which is a pretty comprehensive view of social media from a business standpoint and examines a number of different strategies on how to nurture a customer base, bring in an audience, uh, develop loyalty, and how to approach advertising on these social media platforms. Number one is copywriter. Like the virtual assistant, copywriting has been a very popular role for work from home because you can really do it anywhere. And if you like researching and writing about certain topics, products, or services, this is gonna be a good option for you. Now, fundamentally, what the copywriting role entails is that you're going to be writing content for companies about their products and services so you can educate an audience on what it is these products or services are all about. It may also include articles that one might write expressing or showcasing rather thought leadership in a particular field and you'll write about these topics on behalf of a company. Now, what I think is talked about a little bit less when it comes to copywriting and exactly what that job entails Really another skill you'll need to be familiar with is SEO, which is search engine optimization. Chances are whatever you write is going to be online and it needs to be searchable. So if somebody went 
on Google and searched in a key phrase or a term that's specific to whatever it is you're writing about, you need to write it in such a way that your content shows up as one of the first few results based on whatever key term or keyword is searched. And when a piece of content shows up as one of the first few search results, then that likely means you're able to drive more traffic to the company or to the website. That in turn can lead to many other things like sales, like engagement. Now copywriting involves researching and knowing about a topic enough to write intelligently about it, but SEO is a different skill set, so that's something I would recommend as far as copywriting goes. One resource I'd recommend is the SEO specialization by University of California, Davis. Now the specialization goes beyond just what a copywriter might do, but again, because copywriting depends a little bit more on SEO these days, it's an important skill to have, but you'll get a little bit more coverage in this specialization because it'll talk about different types of content and how you can search optimize some of that as well. So you get a good flavor of everything that SEO is about. So I only mentioned about five jobs in this video. The first job is really a broad category of jobs. So there's just a whole bunch of whole bunch of jobs in that bucket, but there are many more work from home jobs out there that I simply didn't include in here. It, may, it would make the video a lot longer, and I just wanted to give you a sampling of different types of jobs that require different skill sets, but also give you some educational resources to help you become more qualified if you aren't already, be more qualified, which would mean better chance of getting certain jobs and or increasing your salary potential for those jobs. Let me know in the comments down below which of these jobs look interesting to you and if you yourself have done any of these jobs or maybe there's another job out there that you've done that you would like to recommend to others. So leave a comment down below. But with that said, Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.